Hello witches and magical kindreds, I'm Kim. Welcome to my channel, The Ways of a Witch. Today I'm going to show you a few ways that I work with the ancestors. This is the time of the year, as the veil thins, when I like to do ancestral lineage path working. I'll be creating an Ancestors Book of the Dead. I'll also do a flip through of one of my favorite tarot decks for this kind of practice, the Future Ancestors Tarot, and I'll be creating an Ancestors Incense that I learned from one of my favorite witchy teachers. For the process of creating my Book of the Dead, I chose a little blue covered book with natural textured paper to correspond with the West, the element of water, and connection to the underworld. I printed out any photos I had of my relatives, and as I typically do, I created some titles in Canva, then transferred onto the page and hand painted in those titles. I added names, birth dates, and death dates, and some details for those I knew. And for those I did not, I usually just added a name and how I was related to them. But also, I have pages for those unknown ancestors as well. I found an ancestor's dedication online and wrote it out on one of the first pages in the book. I'll try to link that in the description box below. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
this tour, I did cover the names and birth and death dates just for privacy's sake. Those are not actually part of this book. For all the pages I have left in the book, I'll do some ancestral path working, as well as tarot spreads, and a few pieces of artwork to exalt the ancestors that I did not name and do not know. And here's one of my favorite tarot decks to do ancestor work with, the Future Ancestor Tarot. Art and Words by Lexa Luna Studio. I'll provide a link in the description box below. These cards were created as a gentle reminder to live in gratitude for the steps our ancestors took to get us to where we are, here and now. May the magic embedded in each card serve you with love in our paths as future ancestors for generations to come. I can also recommend a book that I did not show in this video, but I use it a bit. It's the Ancestral Tarot, Uncover Your Past and Chart Your Future by Nancy Hendrickson. There's a lot of great ancestor spreads in the book and it can help sort of direct where you want to go and how you want to maybe interact with your ancestors using the tarot. like to pull a card when I do a flip through so this card is for anyone who watches this video the lovers call in a love that lifts your spirits a love that embraces all that you are today and all that you will grow to be For the Ancestral Incense Blend, I gathered my supplies, a little jar, a mortar and pestle, some herbs, juniper berries, rosemary, cedar, some cinnamon and clove.
This is a pretty meditative process for me. I was just paying attention to my intuition about the amounts, a pinch here, a little more there. After adding the blend to the jar, I decided to add a little protection symbol to the top of the jar, and it's a wax seal with the triquatra symbol. Call out to my ancestors, those who came before me, those of my blood and those of my heart, those whose names I know and those whose names I do not. I ask you to guide me, protect me, help me to be the best I can be. I praise you and honor you. I remember you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.